Well, hey there, Papper people. It's me, Jason. I'm a registered polysomnographic technologist, otherwise known as a sleep tech. Have I got an exciting video for you today? No way. <laughs> yes way. So Kirsten here. Just because people are oily, you know. <laughs> You just call Kirsten oily? No, people are. <laughs> is a coworker, and I'm gonna have to say that she's my favorite coworker. And I say this because she's the one that handles all the ordering of food when vendors come in and wanna buy us lunch. I'm sorry, guys. I wish I would have known. They got good wings. Jason should have told me that you guys are coming. I could have ordered at three extras. Give me a, well, it's I mean, Jason's fault. I was kind of busy yesterday. <laughs> 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 trying to decide if I was gonna order. <laughs> I also find that Kirsten has impeccable taste in what to order, so I always just get what she's having. That's true, he just got whatever I got. And she hasn't failed me yet. Okay, enjoy the video. I'm gonna do some voiceover and explain to you exactly what's going on, uh, what all the electrodes mean. Do me a quick favor right now though, please like the video and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and don't be afraid to share this video. The other thing, leave a comment in the comment section down below if you have something to say. And please check out the description box for ways that you can help support this channel. It includes an Amazon affiliate link, PayPal donations, becoming a Patreon, or a member of this YouTube channel. You can also check out maskbright.com, purchase yourself a new mask, or even buy some Maskbrite spray to help clean your stinky mask. Okay, now enjoy the video. We have a lot of electrodes already on, but Ray is putting on the ground. The ground is right there in the center of the forehead. The purpose of it is really nothing other than eliminating 50 and 60 cycle artifact. Um, that's the artifact that you'll see when you're looking at, um, well, it's the artifact you'll get with a lot of electrical equipment. So it causes really fast speeding, causes the lines to be way too thick and unreadable. So that creates a place where those can disperse um, using the body as a ground. So you can see she has a lot of other electrodes and, and, and wires and belts all over her. Some that you do not see right now are on the legs. You have a couple of electrodes attaching right there on the front of the shin. It's called the anterior tibialis. You have two placement points at the end of the leg, so it picks up things like leg movements. Uh, the wires are running up and exiting out the top of her shirt. We usually run those down so they don't get in the way. She also has three EKG patches, two on the upper shoulders, and then one on the lower left rib. You can't see that. I don't want to show that because it's showing a little skin. Well, I mean, some, some of you pervs might be liking it, but we're not going to be showing that. So the two belts that are on are called um, effort belts. So those are used to determine um, breathing or effort of breathing. So let's back up. See what's in the nose. We have a thermistor. That's the white thing that's coming down in front of her nose. And then we have the other, it's a cannula going up into the nose. Those pick up nasal pressure. Because people are oily, you know. You just call Kirsten oily? No, people are. <laughs> okay, we're just screwing around here. The cannula in the nose and the thermistor, the thermistor picks up heat exchange. So when you breathe in, it gets colder. When you breathe out, it gets hot. That creates a, a parabolic signal and you can see breathing. The nasal pressure is kind of the same thing, but it uses pressure instead. You get a nasal flow or how what the breathing pattern looks like. Now the electrodes that Ray just put on to the side of the head, the ones on the side on the forehead, those are called your F channels, frontal, the one on the left is F3, the one on the right is F4. On the left side, they always have an odd number. On the right side, they have an even number. Those are actually um, EEG channels, so we can get brain activity out of them. The placement actually isn't correct, but we're just trying to put these on quick to get signals. The brain activity in the frontal channels there is used for high amplitude, so that's where delta or slow wave sleep is seen. Eye electrodes are going on now. One should actually be lower and one higher. They're doing it wrong, but we don't really care. It's just for signals. But this can, we can tell if you're looking up, down, left, or right. Helps with REM sleep onset. What do you think so far, Kirsten? I feel like a robot. Are you like really aware of all the wires and everything on you right now? I lost count. Do you still like feel them or are you at that point where they're like? Only the ones in my still, nose. Those ones you're still really aware of? And this one, this thing. The belts? Yeah. Both of them or just that one? Just this one. Will we loosen it some? No, it's fine. You sure? Yeah. It's not too tight. I just don't like feeling restricted, you know? Yeah. Okay, so the belts, I forgot to say. So you have the nasal flow. What the belts do, if the belts are moving and there's no breathing, we know it's an obstructive apnea because she's still trying to breathe as the belts are moving. If the belts are not moving and there's no breathing, we know it's a central apnea because she's not even trying to breathe. Okay, now they're putting electrodes in the f on the um, on the head in the center. And if someone is wearing like a headband, 
you expect to be like cut the head like right in half and that's where you put them roughly 45 degrees down right there those pick up also brain activity it's slightly attenuated from what the frontal channels do the other two you're not going to be able to see are down around the back of the head so if you're wearing a baseball hat it's about where uh, the bottom of the baseball hat is about how low they are right on the little knob that sticks out on the back of your head it's up from there and you have two out from there so she's referencing CZ is typically in the center of the head and it's also kind of as a ground slash reference point for all of them there's also two electrodes behind the ear those are used as reference points reference points is a stable location where you can have the other channels like the F the C's and the occipital channels those can all have a reference point for those signals also missing are the chin electrodes. Those help with bruxism or teeth grinding as well as REM sleep onset. All right, so what are you feeling? No, it's already, it's Would you be able to sleep in all of this? My, um, I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna choke. You feel like you have a lot of choking hazards? Yeah. She also has an electrode on, it's a mic, a snore microphone on her neck. Obviously that picks up neck. <laughs> <laughs> it's in my mouth. <laughs> I have to walk around with this thing? Mm -hmm. Holy cow. We'll put it around your neck in a minute once we find the little piece. Around, around so usually my there neck. is a Choke me some more. Okay? thing that goes around the neck and it just hangs there. So that's what patients feel every single time they get set up in bed. So you can hop it's all self contained, right? so you can go use the restroom if needed. Pretty stable. I feel like a robot. You're doing well. Like <laughs> You're doing well. <laughs> Heading to lunch. Like a marionette. <laughs> kind of, these are the actual electrodes. So Kirsten is right there in bed. You can see her in the, the camera. And you can see she's actually asleep. Or maybe you don't know she's asleep. But those slow waves are asleep. She's actually going to wake up here soon. But if you go from the very top lines, and then the next six are EEG. So those are the brain activity. Then the eyes are the bottom two. Um right below the two thick ones, the real thick ones. So right there, she just woke up. You can see the, all the brain activity just popped really large. You can see she's moving in the camera down below. Then you have the airflow and belt signals down at the bottom. Those are the ones going up and down, like I said, you would see as far as breathing and the chest and abdominal effort. Now she's awake. It looks kind of like a caterpillar. If you look real close, it's fast. It's called alpha. It's it's seven to 12 cycles per second. And right here, she is drifting back off to sleep. You can see how it's slowing down. Doesn't look like a caterpillar anymore. It's starting to slow. That would be stage one. So as it wraps around the other side, still sleep. She's actually gonna wake up again so you can kind of see another um, pop in EEG activity. right there woke up again really cool if we look at the signal of the camera we might be able to see her moving no we didn't quite catch it that's it hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching please consider using my amazon link in the description box down below because whether i'm relaxing at home or in this case creating sweet content at work one thing cannot be denied i am still a thick boy Check it out, even white boys got the shout, baby got back. Thank you to anyone watching this video, but an extra special thank you to my top level Patreon supporters and a low level. Thanks buddy to Alan Liu, Stuart Heffington, and Mona Swearingen. Thank you and thanks buddy. Christian, show him how to release that, because it's like you push down, yeah, it's like a slide. What are we talking about? The, the pin, you know how you, you take the, the connector pin oh, to the head box, yeah. You don't just yank it? No, please don't. <laughs> Sometimes you have to put your foot on this to keep it stable <laughs> and, <then laughs> and use your lower back. All right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't use your knees. That's